Oh, consonant with L E, like uh eagle, turtle. This is a good one. So, so um in L E words, okay, a couple things. First, uh the E is silent, the final E is gonna be silent. So an eagle and turtle, that E is silent, right? And it creates a schwa sound. This is so cool. I, I wish I, I had taught this in other classes in the past. Um, this setup with the LE creates a schwa sound. Uh, um, so if we say turtle, oh, the O oh, and eagle and turtle, the schwa is the relaxed uh, throat, tongue, and jaw. So schwa sound is when we have like in words like, a go. Uh, when we say a go, uh, the uh in a go is a schwa sound. Your throat is relaxed and tongue is relaxed. So if you were to say right now, a go, a go, the uh in a go is relaxed. Or the uh and again, uh, again. It's not again. It's not a go. It's a relaxed syllable ago again and what this is doing the le it's making a silent e and it is creating a relaxed uh sound ego so this would be ego uh oh tur to oh it's a little tricky hey i've seen this before in other exams it's, this is kind of a tricky one but maybe you could just read this over and notice it in these words. And then maybe if you're that reading specialist out there, maybe an e ELL teacher, you can remember this thing that it creates that schwa sound. It might help you, okay? This is a great one. Great, 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 great one. I'm glad I, this is included, okay? All right. So we want to be very, very confident with these syllables so that when we now start to talk about syllabication, right? When now we start, we can talk about, you know, uh, as the student starts to break down multi-syllable words, we can point out um, uh, if they do successfully break down the word, we can point out then what syllable types they're still having difficulty with, okay? So we got to know um, the syllable types and that's going to help us with syllabication. But now we know the syllable types, let's get to syllabication.